Oh, you got it. She, look, she picked through this. <laughs> morning, everybody. Grandpa Adler Farms, how are you this morning? May not be morning where you're at, but it's morning here, so that's how we're going to start it out. Whenever you watch this video, you watch it. Got three things that I want to uh, talk to you about this morning. In addition to feeding the animals, talking about Smokey, taking care of her, the goats and everybody. And right now, believe me, if I turn this camera around, they're all sitting there staring at us right now. So we're gonna get down there, but two out of the three things. Uh, one, one thing I'm gonna wait towards the end. I got a favor to ask of everybody, most of you anyhow. And you know me, I don't like to ask for things. I don't like to ask for help, but I cannot do this on my, I can't do this, I can't do this. You all can do it. Only you can do this, believe it or not. And I, 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 I need your help. So I'll explain that later. You know Grandpa's poultry palace, right? Now, I built the impenetrable pen, correct? Well, I thought I did. I wanted it to be that way. In reality, no. I want Grandma to show this video because something's been happening over the last few days with my chickens. And when Grandma rolls this, you'll understand it, all right? Take it away, Grandma. This is not normally a day that I, I, I uh, film, but I wanted to let you know, I've been monitoring something out here in the chicken pen. The other day I set up a camera about right here so that I could monitor the uh, chicken door, the chicken coop door that I got to make sure it was opening and closing properly at the times I wanted it to. So I set this camera up, right? So I came out, uh, got the video, took it back in, watched the video. And on the video, there was this little critter that crawled right in front of one of the cameras. In fact, it was so close, you couldn't tell what it was. It looked like a possum or a raccoon. Well, this thing's, remember, it's in the chicken pen right here. Nellie sits right there. I saw that little critter on there, and I thought, oh my word, what in the world, how in the world, what is it that came in? Because I went around this whole thing with chicken wire on the bottom. Looked like a possum, I'm not sure, or a big rat, I'm, I couldn't tell. So I sat cameras up again the next night, put a marshmallow, put these two traps out, put marshmallows in them, came out the next day, marshmallows were gone, no critter, but on camera at 6.42 in the morning, I caught, saw two little beady eyes underneath here Nellie was up walking around. So whatever it was, apparently did not want to attack Nellie. So I came out yesterday with a rake and I raked all the gravel out and made sure there was nothing under there, nothing hiding. Like I thought maybe it was a groundhog, you know, uh, maybe a, a possum. I hopefully, you know, I thought, my goodness, it, it didn't, uh, it was 6.45 in the morning when I saw it. So anyhow, I set traps last night, one here, one there, camera right here, all the chickens are out, everything's fine. And I come out this morning thinking, well, I didn't catch anything, but look at here. That is a possum, a teeny tiny baby possum. Somehow he wandered in here. Now he could get in through even the chain link. You see, I mean, that would be no problem. That's just like a, a rat. He's a itty bitty baby. And he's, I don't know where he's been staying, maybe outside somewhere, but there he is. I'm going to make the assumption that that's been him, and I don't know if he's been hiding in here or what, but fortunately he ain't big enough to hurt anybody. Anyhow, that's it. So we'll go on with the video, but I wanted to show you that, and if I if I watch the film back and see where he came from, I'll, I'll throw that up here too. So, all right, that's it. We, we caught him. Woo! So that's one thing, okay? Wasn't that something? That is That was really something right there, but we, we got her taken care of. I still set up cameras now, uh, but everybody's good. And you know, that little critter got in there because he was so teeny tiny. The other thing is this, number two, I am really pumped because we have a veterinarian coming next week. We have scheduled a vet to come down here and she's gonna come down and take care of all the animals. She's gonna look at Smokey, get Smokey all caught up. And I asked her too, I said, hey, do you guys do goats and chickens and pigs and all that? And she said, oh, absolutely. She said, we can come down there and you tell me what you got. We'll be, uh, let's throw some scratch in here to these girls to, to get them going. Oh, I just dumped that right on hot lips. Oh, hope they don't pick that off her back. Anyway, 
so they take care of all of that. And I am, I'm as excited about that as I have ever been anything. I have bought dewormer, I have bought all this stuff, I've studied up what to do, what to do, and I am so paranoid that I will mess something up or hurt an animal. And, you know, they kind of come down here, make a house call, give everybody all their proper shots and everything else and take a look at them and make sure that, you know, they're all healthy. And so we're excited about that. Are you excited about that, Batman, huh? Yeah, oh, there goes some, what'd you do? What are you doing? You got the zoomy zoomies? Uh, we better go in, let's go in this way and then I'll come back down this way. So yeah, the vet's coming. I am, I am pumped about that. So excited. Cause she said, what we'll do, we'll get them all caught up on everything they need. Then we will, she said, we can come down on a, on a, on a uh, regular basis. Takes the pressure off me big time. Cause I told her, I said, you know, I bought all this dewormer, listened to all that, and I just don't want to screw something up. She's, hey, don't worry about it. She said, we'll, we'll take care of that. So I'm really excited about that. Come on, kids. You know what she asked me? She said, have your goats been vaccinated? And listen, folks, I hate to play dumb. Well, actually, I don't play dumb very often. So most of the time I, I, I am, you know. So she hit, hit me up with that, you know, your ghost been vaccinated. Any of you been vaccinated for anything, huh? Chicken pox or anything like that? They don't have a clue. Oh, I, I said, I hate to tell you this, man, but I said, I, I, I didn't know that you could vaccinate uh, goats. You know, I said, I dewormed them. I know we're on a schedule for that. She goes, well, this is kind of a, now listen, there is no way to get started in the morning, P-Dub. Don't be slamming into him. She said, yeah, it's kind of a, I think she said overeating. She didn't say overeating vaccination. Look at Mario. He'll stand right up to anybody now, man. You know, that's what, when you're not a weather and you're fully intact, you got a little bit of something, something going on there, right on. Well, yeah, it's called like an overeating she didn't say overeating vaccination. Something to do with overeating, because you know goats can overeat, right? Like this one right here, look at that. Look at that body. Oh, look at that body. Oh, that's a body. That's a body. Oh, Batman, oh, it's a good scratching. He likes his scratching, had a boy. And then you like your scratching, he had a girl. An overeating vaccination. Overeating something or other. So I, you know, they, they tend to, uh, hi girl. They will overeat if, if allowed to. Mr. Fox, you're being on me. So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I haven't asked her yet when she comes up. It's actually be next Thursday, so it's towards the end of, end of next week. Uh, I'm gonna film the whole thing for two reasons. One, I wanna show some of you what they do. All right, I think that'd be really extremely interesting. And then second reason is I want to record it so that I, want, I'm going to ask her a thousand, hang on, I'm going to get it, get it, quit it, quit it, quit it. I'm going to, if I had horns, oh, if I had horns, we butt heads. Look at that. You don't care. You have no respect for me, Batman, at all. Look at that. Goats. I love goats. Luigi, this ain't yours, honey. You got to get back. So. I'll film it and ask her a bunch of questions. That way I can watch it back and refer to her answers. There you go, now everybody get position. In case I ever have any questions in the future, you follow me? Really excited about that. Look, these guys now, did you notice? I come out the door there, these guys go right straight in. They know, they got the routine. You boys hear them little piggy pigs back there, they're hollering. They're hollering already. Why are the goats and everybody more important than us? Just cause we're down here, that don't mean we're any less important. That's true. That's true, Mars, Ouija. Yeah, good boys. Oh, is that water that's on? Oh, you know why? I'll tell you why. Oh man. Oh, Lola, I think you got plenty of water there, kiddo. See that? Completely full. Things got a leak out the front. So last night I let it fill up and uh, she's really full now. That's cool. We'll fill her wallow up here pretty soon. Yesterday, I'm playing Zoomy with uh, Smokey yesterday morning. 
My, I was standing here like standing up. She hit my left leg, folks, running at me. And I left my feet, no kidding, left my feet, went up in the air, landed straight down on my, caught myself on my hands, knocked both my feet straight, knocked me completely off my feet, completely off my feet. And she just kept on and going. And the only regret I have, the only regret I have is what? Wouldn't that have been great for a video? Wouldn't have that been great? Here, 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 kids. Here, girls. Here, here, mags. Right there, guys. I thought, man. Went down, told grandma. I said, you ain't gonna believe what happened. You won't believe what happened. She goes, she said, well, did you have the camera on? Were you filming it? Well, no. No, I just lay in there. I thought I was broken. Hi, honey. Hi, Miss Lola. I bet. I know. Come here, babe. Come here, Lola. Here, right here. Here we go. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I know, we're coming. We're coming. Ooh, that's full, yeah. We're coming. Oh, girls, I know, we're so, oh. Oh, oh I know. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know. Okay, come on, let's go. I got gotcha. you. Here we go. Here we go. Yesterday, I had uh, six watermelon um, that didn't make it. I actually got eight. I left two of them on the vine. You know, those ones that just weren't quite growing. Let's empty that. That's pretty nasty. That's that. Oh, here we go. That smells like pig pee pee. Pig pee pee. Peeing in the pool again. Peeing in the pool. And everybody had a chickens and the pigs had a watermelon feast last night. Tomatoes, watermelon, some zucchini, ginger girls. Hmm? Now if you if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, don't forget I put little snippets in there of things that you aren't, you know, I'm not, I'm not leaving anybody out on purpose, you know, I mean just it's it's just uh, on Instagram and Facebook you know, you can make a little 30 second or your grandma going to work. See you, grandma. Like 30, bye bye. Everybody say bye. Where's she at? There she is. She'll go by there in a minute. She'll go by there in a minute. Uh oh, what's she doing? Checking the mail? No. Oh, she's waiting on the car. That's a good idea. Don't want to get hit. There she goes. She wave at her. Going to work. Say bye. Love you. There she goes. Yeah, if you uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I put some things on there, 30, 60 second little video, 10 seconds maybe. And showed them begging, begging there at the gate, you know. I mean, they're, they're, their begging skills are second to none. Girls will be back, okay? You finish eating, we'll go take care of the chickens, we'll come back and see you, okay? We, we gotta have our little morning belly rub session. We always gotta do that. Hi guys, girls. Yeah, I don't have an egg for you this morning. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Abra, Cadabra. <gasps> Look what Grandpa's got. Look, boop, uh oh, it didn't break. Here, we break it. Hang on, I got you, I got you. Oh, there we go. Get that going. Get that in here. I never can get this silly thing. Unless I pull it way up there. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right. Now we're good. Let's let that fill up and put some hay in the goat's pen. Now, I have not been cutting many leaves down for them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on a minute. You know what happened? I keep my... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Hang on. Can you see? You see that? I didn't break an egg, did I? Can you see that? Can you see that down there? Tell me. Did I break an egg? I hope not. Woo! Did you like that? You all were upside down. Now, if you'll notice. Now, normally, normally, 
I do not let that get that full of hay. See all around the bottom there? So I'm gonna put some hay up here on top, but the littles, somebody comes out here, you know how the cows will dig their heads into the hay and make a little hole, a dent? That's what's been happening. So I've kind of waited to clean that out, you know, in case they will eat some of that down there. But again, the goats are wasters of food. Let's go turn her wall of water off. Lloyd, what you think? You're sharing with the chickens, aren't you a nice co-worker? Is that what you call her? She ain't a co-worker. No. Nah. She says, oh, I let them eat out of here, Grandpa. They birds. The birds eat like birds. They don't eat very much. One of the things when the vet comes down, I immediately thought, what is she going to think of this place? What is that vet going to think of this place? It's clean. The, the, the water, you know, everything's clean. They get plenty of food. I, I, I want her to know that they're, they are my main, their well-being is my main concern. I know, girls. I know you've been so patient. You've been so patient, but you guys got food 24-7. The other day, that's, this is Ginger or Marianne. I think that's Ginger. And I sprayed the daylights out of blue coat on that. And that's Marianne. Now, see, that's not molting, folks. That's, that's just being picked on. Somebody said, well, it's a rooster doing it. Well, I ain't got no roosters. I got no roosters in here. Well, let's get to, let's open up the big door. I know what y'all waiting on. What time of the day is it? What time is it? Come on out of here, hot lips. Come on, girl. Come on. What time is it? Come on, let's play. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's get fired up. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, go. Dun, 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 dun. You got to get out of the way. I got to be careful. We don't want to step on anybody. Almost time for the wormy game. Wee! Sis, you guys ready? Here we go. Oh, I got you. I picked one up. Let's go. You ready? Wormy game. Wormy game. Oh, Hot Lips is excited. Come here. All right, ready? Sit. Go. There's, oh, there's several under there. Get them. Get them, get them, get them. Ready for this one? Go. Nothing. Hell, that's all right. That's all right. We can't, we got three more. Yeah, we got three more. Come on, here we go. Ready, sit, go. Oh man, that guy, oh, he jumped right in the water. Fatal mistake. Fatal mistake. Fatal. Here we go, one more here, right here, get that one, one more. Oh, look at that, two more, oh, that's a spider. Oh, you just ate a spider. You just ate a spider sitting right beside her. Here we go, there's a zucchini. Ready, set, go. Oh, nothing under that one. Well, I'm sorry. Here, girls, Little Red. Somebody asked about Little Red. That's Little Red right here. Little Red's got a mullet. She's got a fine looking mullet. Ginger, Mary Ann, Reba, Lucille, Sis, Goldie, Blondie, Laverne and Shirley, Ellie Mae, Hot Lips, Harrietta, Daisy Duke, and Miss Nellie, our turkey, hanging out. Oh, we just have such a good time. Oh, what a good morning it is. I hope you all having a good morning, good day today. Yep. God has blessed us with some great weather and I'm hoping here, I know it's gonna be hot coming up. I have sprayed blue coat on several of them folks already and I'm just trying to stay after it. I can't wait till the vet gets here, get her opinion also. She may tell me to separate them, you know, uh, for a little while, which I, I can certainly do that, but I hate to, but I, I can. You know, what's the matter here, Yetta? No, that's not here, Yetta. That's my little barred rock. I, I confess last week that I do give them eggs every now and then. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, somebody, is that a poo-poo or a, no? What is that? No, oh, there's an egg. What's the matter? I know what you're wanting. Hey, them's hot off the, I'm, whoa, hey. I got trick birds, watch. Trick birds. Oh, you got, she, look, she pecked through the, <laughs> that's on my boot. You know what? I think you're eating more eggs than I do. I, I'm going to have to go buy the, go to the store. Well, look at it's a, 
egg party egg party come get your fresh eggs anyway i fessed up last week i think the last video if i didn't i'm gonna do it again i give them some eggs they're not breaking them in the thing there you know and they seem to enjoy them and here's a turkey egg bam look at here what i did though remember all the rocks and sticks that were in here you know i raked them all up this is all nice and smooth now and uh that was a whole wheelbarrow full. I just thought maybe I'd, I just I just did that. I thought maybe that'd be the right thing to do. Let's put this back up. I love this chicken coop. My goodness, how much do I love it? I, I cleaned it out yesterday, and all I do I put straw only in that underneath the thing right there, because they just clear all this out. It all goes to the edges anyway. Because when they get in there and fling it, there it goes. So if it was all right here, it'd just be more for me to clean up. This right here. I wait till this afternoon. That's that plexiglass. I know, I still need to get something from under there. Let me show you something back here. Yeah, I had them traps sitting right here, you know, and uh, the chicken door's working great. I got her set for 6.45, 7.45 at night. Run, chicken, run. Look at here what I built yesterday. Okay, you know, we had this in here. That's Kyle's bench and that, and they love coming in here and hanging out on the other side. In fact, I see tail feathers over there. One of them's already over. But I thought, well, let's just make something for the second thing. So I built this thing here. That's just a couple of pallets with a piece of siding on it. They've already been up here because they're poo-poo and they get up here and hang out. I put this thing together. It's just real simple and crude. I ain't no carpenter. And this, this right here is loose. That's just a four inch post. So I thought maybe they would get up here and roost, you know, sit, hang out during the day. Now, I have not seen any of them up there yet, you know, but, and it may be too high, maybe too round. I'm just kind of letting them you know, uh, get a feel for it. I can always change it. Shoot, I could take this thing out. Maybe they just set up here on this two before. But I thought maybe that would be big enough and wide enough for them to sit on up here, you know what I mean? But I came out last night. Funny part, I always come out and check on them, put them to bed. Well, I came out here. Nelly usually sitting right there, right? She wasn't there. I thought, oh man, she was sitting right there on the end of that uh, thing right there. So that's, that may be her new roost. Anyway, I have to leave that. I was closing up that second uh, run, uh, area for him, but I have to leave it open now because because Nellie's going in there. Yeah. So anyway, it, it's I'll, I'll, I just I just wanted to make him a little little uh, place to go. So <gasps> look, wait a minute. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna just zoom in. Look. Can you see through the fence? Look at there. That's Harrietta. She's up there. Oh my gosh. Look, she's on it. Grandma told me not to whisper, but I'm whispering. I don't want to scare anybody. Look, see you can get up here. Look at there. See it working. You see they go over there. So now ain't that cool? They got three little playground areas. I may build a little something else. Look at that Harrietta. That is awesome. It makes me very happy. Oh, <laughs> look, two of them. Look at that. Look at that. That's great. That's why I do it. That's why I do what I do, folks. Get up there, sis. Watch sis. Watch, watch. She's going. She's going. With the chicken, it's monkey see, monkey do. Watch this. Get up there, sis. Nothing would make my heart better, feel better than to see about all of them lined up there. Oh, she did. Look. Sis is up there now. Isn't that great? All right, let me uh, finish filling up this water. Then we're going to talk. Remember that favor? Coming up. Hang in there. Okay, before we go see uh, the Cooney Coonies, I wanted you all to know, I, based on your recommendation, because I never gave it a thought, remember I, I told you this thing was taking a beating because of the sun and all, I bought some clear acrylic uh, spray paint, whatever, paint or cover, whatever it is, you know what I'm talking about, and I sprayed both all of these so it's got clear acrylic on the front and the back all right i'm going to give them a double dose it says uv resistant no matter which one you say it says uv protection uv uh, resistance you know it's not like it's 100 percent. so that hopefully that's going to make them last a little bit longer you know they're not in the sun all the time they're not in that hot western sun because this is east so they're only in the sun you know a, li a little while uh 
But anyhow, I'm just as proud of all them as I can be. Grandpa's Poultry Palace and all them signs. That's that's awesome. I know I said it in the last video. I just I, I I just love stuff like that. So, well, let's leave Grandpa's Poultry Palace. Let's go uh, wrap it up at the Cooney Coonies. Let's go. On the, I got to give them their daily pet. Hey, get your belly rub. Come here. There we go. Okay. There we go. Get your belly rub. Okay. There it is. There we go. You know, somebody thought that Miss Olivia was bigger than Bella, but no, no, Miss Bella still got her. She's always been a little bit bigger. All right, folks, here's the favor. This is something I can't do. A little education for you, all right? Social media, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, they're all, they're, they're, uh, they're milestones that you can reach in each one of them, according to how many follows you. You know, it's a numbers thing, right? Well, on Facebook, I have about almost 14,000 folks that follow me. Believe me, that's not very much. There are people out there that have hundreds of thousands. Colin Shannon, KNS Get Out. Uh, I know most of you are familiar. Well, they're at about a 7,500 to 7,700 level, I think, right now for people that follow them on Facebook. Okay. And 10,000 followers on Facebook is a, is a big milestone. It's a milestone, believe it or not, just 10,000. And they have been working really hard to get there. So what I want to do, what I want to do for anybody out there who's on Facebook, okay? I mean, you can be on YouTube and watch Facebook, whatever it is. But if you're on Facebook and you follow me and you do not follow K&S Get Out, which is Kyle and Shannon, would you please go look them up on Facebook, do a search, K&S Get Out, go to their page and hit follow. But if you're on Facebook and you follow me, because there's, let's face it, there's about a, you know, 5,000 follow difference there. So if, if a couple of thousand of you, or however many, would jump over to Facebook, but follow me, but don't follow Kyle and Shannon, give them a follow, okay? That's all we, that's, that's it, just, just hit follow. I would love for them to, and I'm not telling them, it's a secret, don't tell them, don't comment, don't, don't say, hey, uh, you know, Grandpa sent me over to, to follow you. Please don't do that. Let's keep this a secret. This is going to be a surprise. I told Grandma this morning, I ain't going to tell them. Then, when they did that and they told us, I could tell them what y'all did. I could tell them what y'all did. That's the kind of people you are. I know you are. I know you are. All right? And you know I wouldn't be asking it if it wasn't important. But they've been working very, very hard. And those of you who follow along with them, they know, you know how hard they're working towards all their goals. But this is a, getting them to 10,000 followers on Facebook would be a very, very big deal. And it would be a really big deal to me to see both of them do it. So, so when this, you, you see this video air, you know, jump over there and I'm a follow, okay? Jump over to their page. I can't do it without you. This is something I have no control over, folks. I can't do it. It's all you. It's all you. And you would get all the you know, the, the, you, you get all the credit, not that any of you are looking for credit, but all you do is just, just do that for us, do it for them. I'd, I'd really, really appreciate it. Like I said, I don't ask many favors of anybody, but uh, I'm, I'm asking one, I'm asking one now, okay? It'd be really important, and you would make those two kids, you would make their, you'd make their year. Oh, girls, all right, Grandpa has went on and on in this video. He has went on and on. You know what? Thank you, guys. That's gonna be it right there. That's gonna be it. I, I uh, apologize, it's a longer video. I hope you hung in there, appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, thank you for watching. We are so grateful, we are so humbled uh, by all of you. And again, I try to get comments answered now. My answer on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, trying to, you know, TikTok. Uh, I, I want to try to stay in touch. I honestly do, you know, and it hurts me when I can't get, can't stay, w w you know, in touch with everybody. It, it, it bothers me, but I, I try to do my best. Please, if you leave a comment, you know, uh, keep leaving them because I, I cycle off and on and I'll, or, I mean, I may hit, not hit you that one video, but I'll get you the next. I'll try to anyway. Appreciate you, all of you. The love, you know, we love you guys. We pray for you. You know, some of you, you know, we all need lots of prayer right now, some more than others. So 
we got Olivia, Bella, say, say we love you. God bless everybody. Hey, folks, until next time. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>